Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the uh, lecture for the poultry production and management. Okay, uh, today we'll be discussing about the reproductive system of uh, chickens. So we try to uh, distinguish the reproductive system between the male and the female chickens. But before that, so I'd like to uh, recall on the discussion we have had last time. So uh, last time we discussed about the uh, the uh, anatomy and physiology of the chickens. No? We mentioned about the different parts of the chicken, external uh, external parts, and we also discussed about the uh, uh, the uh, appendages that attaches into the head and uh, all the parts, uh, all the body parts of the chickens. And today we'll be uh, discussing on the reproductive system of the chickens. So first, we try to uh, discuss about the reproductive reproductive system of the male chicken. So the male reproductive system, okay, uh, the male reproductive system consists of two uh, testes. So they have a testes located in the dorsal area, so the back, at the back portion, the, uh, the dorsal area of the body cavity just in front of the kidney. So in front of the kidney, uh, you can find uh, the two testis, testicles. No? Then uh, the mini ducts of the testis lead to the vas deferens. So there are some tubes, there are some uh, channels uh, from the testis to the vas deferens. Vas deferens which carry the semen from the testicles to the papillae. So this is the, this is the direction. So there are some small tubes from the testis leading to the vas deferens when, when then, and then the, the vas deferens uh, which carry the semen from the testicles to the papillae. So the vas deferens now is a channel of uh, carrying semen from testicles to the papillae in the dorsal area of the cloaca. And then to the copulatory organ located in the folds of the cloaca. So there is a copulatory organs located in the folds of the cloaca. Okay. Then the pH of semen is between uh, 7 to 7.4. So this is uh, alkaline and basic. And the volume ejaculated during the meeting may be as high as 1 cubic centimeter and decreases to a little as 0.1 cubic centimeter or ml or milliliter after many meetings. So, so uh, many meetings in a day, so the succeeding meeting would have a lesser volume of ejaculation. So this is for the female reproductive system. Ah, uh, no, sorry, male reproductive system. Sorry. Uh, just to uh, clarify and to visualize the male reproductive system. So I have to show you this figure. Okay, this is an excerpt from this uh, website. No, uh, so I'd like to acknowledge the source. So the website on the uh, on the bar. Okay, so this is the uh, two pairs of testicles or the testes uh, and the kidney, the brown ones. Okay, from the testes, okay, uh, uh, we have the epididymis, okay, and then uh, we also have the asiatic artery, and of course, uh, we have the different duct we have the ureter then eventually to the copulatory organ which is located to the cloaca so if you have <coughs> if you can see in there so this is the uh, the anatomy of the male reproductive system okay so there you have it so well if we have to look another uh, in the actual of the real uh this this so there you have it 
and this is the uh, VASA difference VAS difference with channels uh, stemming from the testis to the papillae then to the copulatory organs located uh, near the cloaca so this is the male reproductive organ so let's go back to our slide now uh, let us proceed with the female reproductive organ okay all right so the reproductive, reproductive system the female reproductive system consists of only one ovary and oviduct so composed of ovary and oviduct the female reproductive system the ovary is located high in the abdominal cavity ventral to the kidney okay and in mature hen consists of clusters of thousands of follicles uh, these follicles is the one we can see when we uh, slaughter a uh, hen uh, those uh, yellow uh, spares uh, just like uh, just yeah, as big as the marbles or sometimes even uh, bigger than marbles yellow in color those are the follicles which eventually develop into an egg okay okay the oviduct is as large as convoluted tube about uh, 70 cm in length on the left sides of the abdominal cavity so oviduct is like a tube no it's convoluted tube like looping tube and uh, joining into the left side of the cloaca at the bottom and terminating at an anterior in the funnel like structures called in funding below so we need to say when the long tube of the duct uh, it originated from from the cloaca at the bottom and terminating at the anterior in the funnel like structure the called in fundimulum yeah, immediately been trial to the ovary if we are to look into the clear picture of the uh, female reproductive organs, so we try to choose this one. Okay, there you have it. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, this is the uh, female reproductive organ. Look at this. So, uh, so we have the the ovary. Okay. So from where the uh, follicles are uh, located, then we have the infant develop. and uh, actually this is the uh, oviduct. So oviduct terminated uh, here in fundibulum starting from the cloaca. So we have. Uh, parts of the oviduct we have the magnum of course we have the isthmus we have the shield gland okay so uh, the fundamentum catches the uh, fertilized uh, egg uh, from which the fertilized egg okay travels in the oviduct then become a mature egg uh, all right so so going back to our our slide all right so here are the different sections of the oviduct and what are the functions of those uh, sections so the sections of oviduct we have the infundibulum as you have seen a while ago so uh, the infundibulum catches the ovum uh, the egg from the ov uh, the ovary you know the ones that has been uh, uh, part lice, sperm storage, uh, in pendulum, so much sperm storage and fertilization. So the length is 11 centimeter. So uh, the egg stays for about 0.5 hours in the infendibulum. So another sections of the oviduct, we have the magnum, secretes albumin. So uh, Albumin, if you can, uh, I, I, of course, uh, you have been uh, observing an egg. In fact, uh, you already saw a raw egg. 
yung albumin yung puti na side na portion no the other one is the yellow okay yung puti yung albumin is secreted by the magnum okay so the magnum is the longest part of the tracts so the longest part of the oviduct so the egg uh, the length of the magnum is 34 centimeter and the uh, partless eggs uh, stays about two to three hours in the magnum. Okay, look at that. Then isthmus. <coughs> Sorry. Isthmus forms the shell's membrane composed of keratin. So the shell of an egg was developed from the eastmost uh, parts of the oviduct so the length is 11 centimeter and it stays, uh, the egg stays in there for about 1.5 hours shield gland and uterus is another part of the oviduct pumps the egg by water transfers and secrete the shell so dito na form yung shell okay yeah uh, and secretes the shell the chalice develops here. Chalice actually is the part of an egg that, uh, anyway, we have to emphasize that later on. And also, the shell gland or the uterus uh, also uh, store sperms. Then the last one is the vagina. So the vagina secretes mucus or cuticle, then expels the egg. All right, the length of the vagina is 7 cm and the egg stays in there for about 0.25 to 0.5 hours. So uh, as you can see, the egg uh, stays longer uh, in the shell gland or the uterus because it is about 18 to 20 hours. All right, so uh, well, there is another uh, presentation of the chicken reproductive tract of the, the hen. So the, this is the, the cloaca, okay, the, the the shell gland, okay, in which the shells has developed. We have the isthmus, we have the magnum, then then pendulum. Then of course the follicles is from the ovary. So this is the the view of the uh, female chicken, the reprodu reproductive organs of the female chicken. So there you have it. So any questions? So so that's all about the female and male reproductive systems of the chicken.